Hello and welcome. You're watching DBMN TV. This is Abigail R. Karmalim bringing to you the Salesian news across the globe. Last April 18, at the Salesian Theological Student Date in Turin, Crosetta, the Curatorium, the Gathering of Salesian Superiors, co responsible for the interprovincial and, in this case, international formation house, was held. Father Juan Carlos Perez Godoy, Councillor for the Mediterranean Region, presided over the meeting and nine superiors from Salesian provinces participated. Father Leonardo Mancini, ICP, Father Igino Biffi, INE, Father Giuliano Giacomazzi, ILE, Father Stefano Aspetati, ICC, Father Peter Timko, SLK, Father Marco Kosnik, SLO, Father Martin Hobza, CEP, Father Fimohir Sutalo, CRO, and Father Rientart Gezing, GER. Also present were the ICP Provincial Economer, Father Giorgo T. Giorgi, and the Dean of the Faculty of Theology from UPS in Rome, Father Antonio Escudero. Also attending from the community were the Director, Father Marek Chirzan, the Dean, Father Christian Peso, and the Economer, Brother Jose Trigona. The agenda included the Director's Report on the Progress of the Community's Educational Life, the Headmaster's Report on School Aspects and the Economist's Report on Economic Issues. All these issues provoke fruitful discussion among those present with an attempt to seek solutions and proposals for continuous improvement. There was also room in the day's programme for a meeting of the provincials with young Salesians from their respective provinces to discuss the issues presented. On 22nd April, the pilgrimage of the liturgical service to the altar, LSO, in Polish of the Saint of Poland, Krakow, PLS, that is a meeting of altar service, readers and singers. 220 ministrants and other young people from the various Latian presences of the PLS province took part. The meeting program began at 9.30 local time with a moment of interaction and socialising in front of the church before the opening can welcome half an hour later in the presence of Father Zygmunk Koska, PLS Provincial Vicar, and of Father Stanislaw Oswarek, Parish Priest. Thanks to patient, enthusiastic and constant animation, the presence of ADMA, the Association of Mary Help of Christians, continues to grow in the Salesian province of the South Philippines. Today, there are 12 local ADMA centres in the province in northern zones which extend over a very vast area. For these challenges such as distance, regularity of attendance and financial stability remain. Despite this, however, the ADMA members are continuing to grow and the animation bears fruit. As per tradition, on 25th April, the Salesians of Piedmont, Valle de Osta and Lithuania ICP, met together to experience the provincial feast as a family. This year, it was decided to celebrate it in the Salesian House of Turin Crosetta in homage to the 100th anniversary of its foundation. For this reason, the young theology students and the Crosetta community organize a simple moment of theatre and animation in which they recall the history of the work and of the Salesians who have passed through it. The provincial fees also gave the occasion to remember some special anniversaries of the conference, the so-called Jubilees in particular. The provincial community was able to celebrate Father Beppe Gionolio 80 years of profession and 70 years of priesthood, Father Ferdinando Bergamelli, 70 years of profession. On April 20th and 21st, about 30 people from the two Salesian provinces of Spain and the Spanish province of the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians deepened their knowledge of the new law on professional formation and the challenges and possibilities it offers. Aware that since its charismatic origins, vocational training has been present as a preferential option of Salesian schools, the continuous adaptation to social and legislative reality has led Salesians to be ever attentive to social, cultural, political and labour changes to provide adequate responses to young people. Now, in light of organic law dated March 31st on the organization and integration of vocational training, which among its regulations provides for an extension of dual training and internalization of education, the Salesian National School team has proposed to hold a seminar during the 2022 to 2023 ac academic year. 2022 to 2023 academic year. Specifically, the meeting had five objectives to study organic law dated March 31st, to consider the possibilities offered by the regulatory development of this law, to find out what evaluation is made of this law in the business world, 
to reflect on the possibilities that internalization to offers to vocational training centers and to offer some specific suggestions for Salishian vocational training schools to adapt to the new legislation. The participants were divided into three working groups, each enriched by individuals of high level of expertise and knowledge of the realities related to vocational training. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.